Hi, I'm Marcos Gottfried from Mexico City. The question was, what would you put in a billboard? Maybe it's a little cliche, but definitely the first phrase that came to mind is, just do it. Nice. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're here with Marcus. Uh, Marcus, where are you from? And if you had to explain what your company does to a seven-year-old child, how would you do it? Um, Mexico City is my home. I've been. I have a trade show business for the last twenty-two years. I've been in EO for nineteen years, and what I do is that I try to accelerate businesses through trade shows. Okay. Okay. So, in a, for a seven-year-old child, it would be you put up an an event so that companies can tell other companies about what they're okay. doing. Okay. For a seven-year-old child. Yes. I would say, imagine if you could present your product to the people you want in three days. Okay. And so, what I do is I get the people that are interested to a certain place. So that they can, and they're specialized people, so mm. that they can relate to the products mm. Mm. or mm. products and services of, mm. of a certain industry. Yeah, sweet. What got you started? Uh, my my mom, she had the stationery show. Okay. So I used to work there in the summers, and and then I left for five years. And when I came back, my mom left that business. And she was thinking, you know, now I have to start again, so what are we going to do? And so she started this business, and right after I graduated from college, and we decided to partner. And we started launching shows like crazy. Uh, we failed in many shows. Uh, but today, 22 years later, um, I've organized more than 280 shows, and I have close to 270,000 people attend my shows a year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, those are two numbers to be very proud of. Yeah, yeah. And, they, well, you know, Mexico is a great industry. Yeah. And Mexico is a, a great, a great country for, yeah. for the industries. Yeah. And you can, when, when you focus on industries that need uh, this face to face interaction, then it's a successful show. I mean, maybe some industries like real estate or, or tourism. They don't need trade shows anymore. Mm. But what about a beer show? Mm. You mm. can't mm. taste beer through virtual reality, or mm. Mm. or you can't taste coffee, or you can't mm. touch a machine, or mm. maybe the materials for interior and decor. The, I mean, in trade shows, it's also the product, but it's also the people, and you also need to have all those people together, right? The more digital we are, yeah. the more people want interaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's nice. Um, what keeps you up at night and what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? But my, my three areas of EO, the, the personal, the family and the, and the business are really, um, I, I, I actually sleep very well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what keeps me up at night, um, that there, there's a, this certain issue of having to surpass people's expectations in the events I organize. They always have to be bigger, yeah. with more people. Yeah. 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 Um, they have to be better. They have to be, the, the, the booths have to be nicer. The quality of the attendees need to be um, always higher. So, so yeah, I think it's a, it's a constant, it's a constant expectation that my clients have, but Honestly, after 22 years, uh, you, we have certain metrics, mm -hmm. and I can sleep well at night because I know those metrics, and I'm happy. And what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? Uh, I do Ironmans, and okay. so nothing better than running up in the mountain with a, with a sunrise. Sweet. <laughs> nice. What do you know now that you wish you knew when you started? That that if you work hard things will come out okay if you if you you know people are preoccupied all the time but if you are occupied you don't have to be preoccupied that's deep man. that's deep so we have to <laughs> occupy ourselves to make things happen
and this guy came not prepared with the answers. Huh? He, like, this is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> Be occupied, not preoccupied. Be occupied, absolutely. Yeah. Make things happen. Yeah. You know, uh, right now, everybody's talking about the, the world. Yeah. Uh, the world crisis that's coming. There's going to yeah. be a, yeah. a little slump in the economy. Yeah. Well, buckle up. Yeah. Work a little bit more. Yeah. And let's make things happen. Yeah. That's the thing I tell my team, right? Like, you guys, you know, stop watching the news. Just start making the news. That's right. <laughs> what are some of the uh, points in your life that you've been really proud and happy about, have gratitude for, and have been satisfied with? Um, that I've always put family first. Okay. No matter what happens, family first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and if you can, if, if, if I can be good with my family, then I can be better with myself and if I'm okay with family and with my personal life then that's just the follow -through. just yeah. business is going to be okay because I'm okay at home yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it's sometimes so sad to to see people suffering in, in the first two areas and trying to or thinking that if they work harder the other two areas are going to get better mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and I don't think that that's possible yeah. I mean it's yeah. it, that's not the way it works yeah. Yeah. so your your attendees say wow when they come to your events but you make sure it's wow at home first you have to it has to yeah. be wow at home yeah, yeah not always <laughs> not always do the attendees say wow I mean I did have a, a couple yeah I, I did trip on some, <laughs> some 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 rocks at the beginning so we do mistakes because we are we're entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. And, 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 and we have to do mistakes to, to to be better entrepreneurs. I was going to ask this: What are some of the mistakes that you've made that others can learn from? Uh, trying to, I, I offered too high expectations. Okay. Something that I couldn't. Yeah. Um, I couldn't deliver, and I, I had to go look at each one of the of my clients in, in the eye and say. I screwed up and um, and <laughs> they were the ones that said don't be so hard on yourself at least you tried and we'll, you'll get it better next time I, so I have exactly the same experience I mean for some of the things even I over not over promised but I over believed in myself I thought we could reach those and those are the targets that I put um, and also I didn't reach the targets and also they were like it's fine but you had those targets and that's why we believed in you in the first place so yeah, we have to be truthful yeah. We have to be honest, we have to think things through and really visualize what the results are going to be. And the only people that we're going to be kidding is ourselves. If you want to make a fast buck, mm. maybe that's the business. Mm -hmm. But if we want to stay for the long term, we have to be honest. I guess it's also the, the sort of overpromise that you make, right? I mean, there are overpromises and then there are real, real overpromises where the person is after the fast buck. But if they, if they actually sense it's not after that, but it's actually you actually believed you could deliver but you couldn't deliver for exactly. some reason or the, then they understand there you go yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go yeah, yeah. The, the people are people bet i mean well i was i wasn't or I, I try to believe that i'm still an underdog at least that's the energy i try to have most of the time um but those first years where i was the underdog mm. it, it's amazing how much people bet on you yeah root for you yeah, yeah i root for you yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely if you had a billboard and you could put any message you want on that, what would that message be? Yeah. It's a little cliche. Clichés are good. Just do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. How has EO made a difference in your personal family, business, or community life? How? How has EO made a difference in any of the four? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but you've been for 19 years, so you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, EO has been instrumental in my life. Um, I don't know if I would be divorced. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I used to sabotage myself because I had remorse from being successful, and and the reason was because I was surrounded by people. Um, that my benchmark was not a good one. So when I started being around EOers, um, my benchmark changed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I didn't. I suddenly didn't feel 
a remorse from being successful. Mm -hmm. And so being able to have a circle of trust mm -hmm. of people that not only you have trust, mm -hmm. but you also admire, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has always been instrumental in my business, in my personal and my family life. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. That was deep and insightful. No, thank really. you. Thanks thank a you. lot. Yeah. <laughs>